The West Shore Lake Pontchartrain Hurricane and Storm Damage Risk Reduction System will provide much needed risk reduction for 60,000 residents in St. Charles, St. John the Baptist, and St. James Parishes. Let's look at the construction efforts underway for this critical flood risk management infrastructure. First step in construction was building land bridges or access roads to reach the levee system alignment. Nine roads totaling 14 miles long had to be built through the marsh and swamp. Once these roads were in place, construction of the levee system could begin. The West Shore Lake Pontchartrain project is designed to reduce the risk of damage caused by Lake Pontchartrain surge entering areas of St. Charles, St. James, and St. John the Baptist parishes. To deliver the 1% level of storm surge risk reduction, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, in partnership with the Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority and Pontchartrain Levy District, is employing a combination of structural and non-structural flood risk management approaches. The structural component of the project is an 18 and a half mile levy system that includes earthen levees, flood walls, and pumps. The system is being constructed in segments or reaches. We're at Levy Reach 110 on the western end of the alignment near Garyville, Louisiana. This one mile levy was the first contract awarded in 2022 for $9.3 million. It's scheduled to be complete in 2024. Construction of the levy began with clearing the alignment area. So far, approximately 90% of the alignment area for this reach has been cleared and grubbed. Once enough area was cleared, the Corps of Engineers began placing a base of sand along the alignment with nearly 1,500 feet of sand in place. With the sand foundation in place, construction of the clay embankment along the center line of the levee is underway. Once complete, more than 87,000 cubic yards of clay material will have been placed along the one mile section. Moving east, we leave contract 110 and get a bird's eye view of the future location for Levy Reach 109. I am standing at the foot of Levy Reach 107. This $25.5 million contract was awarded in March of 2023 and will result in a 1.7 mile long and 9.6 foot high levy alignment. Continuing east, we approach Levy Reach 107. Construction of this levee began with construction of access roads, or land bridges. The installation of corrugated pipes were necessary to cross the drainage channel. Clearing, grubbing, and burning continue at Levee Reach 107. As with Reach 110, the first step in construction is clearing the alignment area. To date, approximately 60% of the clearing work is complete. These orange cones here and the ones down there show where the center line of the levee will be. Here we see the borrow pit and the Bonnie Carey spillway being excavated during the clay stockpile one contract. Around 475,000 cubic yards have been excavated from the pit to date. Pile load tests were conducted to determine the depths of the piles and how much weight they could bear. The test pile process of the future location for the I-55 pump station and drainage structure has begun. These piles will be removed once all the dynamic and static test data is complete. The piles awaiting installation mark the footprint of the levee. As we continue along the alignment, we see the future location of West Shore Contract 105 and the Paralu drainage structure. Moving further east, we approach the Levee Reach 101A near Bonnie Carey Spillway. This levee reach ends where another of the future drainage structures will be located. We're at Reach 101A, a nearly two mile levee that will be built to an elevation of 12 and a half feet. This $22 million contract was awarded in April 2023 and is scheduled to be complete in the next two years. In August of 2023, two more levy construction contracts, a $22 million contract for the construction of one and a half mile long levy reach, 108, and $39 million contract to build two and a half mile long levy reach, 104, were awarded. 
These contracts are scheduled to be underway shortly, and we will keep you updated as we press forward to deliver the West Shore Lake Pontchartrain Hurricane and Storm Damage Risk Reduction Project. The Corps of Engineers, the Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority, and the Pontchartrain Levy District are committed to delivering the West Shore Lake Pontchartrain Project, ensuring 100-year level flood risk reduction for the 60,000 people who work and live in St. John the Baptist, St. James, and St. Charles Parishes. To stay up to date on this project, please check out our website and Facebook page. Like and subscribe.